so hi everyone today we'll be talking about lora for fine tuning of llms that stands for lora and adaptation of llms so basically uh, lora has been creating quite a buzz recently because it makes your training super fast and also it uses lesser number of computational resources so what is happening lora let's try to understand so in a usual fine tuning of any model we first of all take a pre-trained model that is trained on a very heavy data set and then do transfer learning over a new training data to slightly adjust the pre-trained weight so this is how a usual fine tuning looks now if we talk about llms like say llama 70 million model if we go for a usual fine tuning this we would be updating 70 billion parameters now this would be very very slow because this is a huge number and it will also require huge computational resources now think of a small trick that we would be applying which is the whole idea of no, lora is that instead of updating all the 70 billion weights parameters that we have in llama 70 uh, 70b we can we freeze these base weights and create a separate update matrix so let's try to understand the whole idea assume that llama 70 billion has a weight matrix of the shape and cross m right now we create new set of update weight matrix which has nothing to do with the actual weights of llama such that they are ua and ub where u stands for update update a and update b with, with the dimensions and cross k and k cross m where k is very small so if you remember matrix factorization what we are doing is that in matrix factorization what we do if we have very big matrix n cross m we break it into two parts n cross k and k cross m which eventually results into n cross m if we go for matrix multiplication so this is the whole idea of lora also so what we are doing is that instead of updating the actual weights we are creating two separate metrics ua and ub of the dimension nk and km such that once we matrix multiply them we get the same dimension as of the actual weight matrix now instead of updating the 70 billion n cross m weights matrix we would be updating ua and ub for any updates while even while training and eventually use it alongside the pre-trained weights for the specific task and we will be calling it as fine tuning now if you are still confused we will take a step back and how weight updation works so if you look at this particular equation usually what happens is that we have an output output equals to input into the machine learning model cross weights plus bias right this is how usually machine learning works we have a set of weights for every model we multiply the inputs and then eventually add bias and get our output now as we train the model we start off with the initial weights that is w and eventually once we are trained the model to let's say 100 epochs the weights become wu that is the updated weights but if you look closely the updated weights are nothing but w plus delta w where we have added or subtracted some values to the initial value of w that we started off with so the final equation becomes y equals to x the input you can say i have written m wu plus bias but this w you can be written in this way w plus delta w and delta w can be written as ua cross ub as i told you as we are creating a separate update weight matrix and we won't be touching the w so here you can see that in this particular equation we are not playing around with the actual w which is 70 billion in case of llama for example but we would be updating just the ua and ub and then eventually fine tuning the model in this way now you might be thinking ki how it is useful what computation it will save it saves a lot just see this particular uh, mathematics that i did so assume that llama 70 billion model has a weight matrix of the shape 7 lakh into 10 lakh matrix uh, into 10 lakh the dimensions hence leading up to 70 billion updates right because eventually you would be updating all the values now using lora we might get two matrix u and uv of the dimension 7 million and 1 million now this would be leading to 8 million updates how here you can see that what we are doing is that n is 7 n still is 7 lakhs into 10 where as we are talking about n cross k and k cross m so k equals to 10 and k into m k is 10 and m is 1 lakh so eventually here we would be having 70 million updates here we would be having 1 million updates a total of 8 million updates instead of 70 billion updates so hence the reduction of 99.9998857 percentage in terms of updates so that's a huge computational save and hence lora is very fast also